What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills, and welcome back to the career mode with Barcelona. Honestly, bros, I just want to say thank you so much for the love and support on the first episode of Barcelona career mode, man. I know it was a quick, like, turnaround, a quick switch. Obviously, messed up on the Manchester United career mode, then started the Barca career, career mode, but you guys have been right there supporting, showing us so much love. We got 5,000 likes on yesterday's video. Can we do that again? Please smash that big old thumbs up. Thank you guys for letting me know that I made the right decision. I will go back to Manchester United. A few things I want to clarify real quick. My man said, you are destroying Barcelona, dude. Selling NES is a big mistake, bro. Good video. Keep up the good work. He's a Barca legend. Don't sell him, bro. The only reason I'm selling NES is in real life, he left. So in this career mode, at the end of the year, he's leaving for free. So if I can make money on him, it's a career mode. If it was real life, I would never sell NES. If it was real life, I would never sell Sergio Busquets. But because it's FIFA, and in FIFA terms, Sergio Busquets is just too slow. And NES is leaving, and I'm not going to play him either way. I mean, I would play him, but... It's just better for us to cash out if we can. With that being said, also, I had 26 thumbs up. Guys, know when I make a move, I'm making it because of the FIFA terms. You can't think real life when you're playing FIFA. If we were thinking real life, Godin wouldn't be here. If we were thinking real life, uh, signing Griezmann would be much, very, 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 very difficult. Uh, even though it might happen in real life, it still could be massively difficult. Um, a lot of things we do in career mode probably wouldn't really happen in real life. So, with that being said, in this episode, you guys want me to make a few different moves. A lot of people want me to sign Griezmann. Like, literally, the top comment with 105 thumbs up is buy Dybala. But then after that, it's Griezmann, 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 Griezmann. It's Griezmann everywhere. So, we are going to sit down with Griezmann and see what we can do, how we can make this work out. If we can even make this work out. Obviously, this is talks in real life. It's going down. It looks like it could happen. It looks like they're in talks with Griezmann and stuff like that. I don't know if y'all saw the news and other transfer news, but... I saw that Juventus offered Dybala plus 100 million for Cristiano Ronaldo. If that's real, if you were Madrid, would you accept that? I got to say, I would accept that. If I was Real Madrid and someone offered me 100 million plus Dybala, who is 30, 23 years old, in real life, right now, I, I know Ronaldo's like, you know number one in the world number two in the world in that conversation but at the same time he doesn't really want to be at madrid he wants to get paid stupid money i would sign that check let that boy go out bring in dybala and get 100 million let me know what you guys would do in the comments down below but up next man our first move in this episode is griezmann 26 years old uh we only have 50 million so for us to make this move happen we are going to have to give away somebody um to be able to make this move happen and we don't really have that many options um, I got, we don't have that many options. Um, what do we want to do here? I got Iniesta. You know what? I might offer Iniesta and then money. Let's see if we can make this work. They want a right winger, which is an issue because we don't really have that many white right wingers, man. Um, we have Dembele. That's it. I don't, I don't really have anybody. They want a right winger and all I got is Dembele. Um, so I can't offer that. And then when I offer 50 million, that's never going to be enough. They're, they're pissed. They're out of here, bro. That dude is mad. We'll sit back down with, with Aleti Madrid. Right now, it didn't work out, but we will sit back down with Aleti Madrid when we have some more money and try to make that move happen. Usually, I play the preseason games, but this one, I'm going to go ahead and simulate it and see if we can win the cup without me even playing. Felipe Coutinho, Suarez, Messi, Rakitic, William Carvalho, who came from Spartans, Sergio Busquets, Jordi Alba, Goldin, who came from Aleti, Umtiti, Nelson Smedu, and Ter Stegen. And Felipe Coutinho, the Brazilian machine, scores early in the fifth minute, and it's holding up pretty well. Godin also received the yellow card early 15 minutes in. Dybala got subbed out. Felipe Coutinho finds his second. PK gets subbed in for Godin, and it looks like we are going to be knocking off Juventus as Dem Dembele scores another one. And that is going to be 3-0, and we knock off Juventus to reach the final of this preseason cup. So this is the big one, right? We got uh, PSG, and I'm going to play this one because it's Barcelona v. Neymar Zito. It's Messi v. Neymar. It's, it's the old teammates going up. It's the old Neymar, the old teammates going up against each other. And I want to try this lineup, man. But the only difference is people were saying for me to play Messi at the cam position and then Dembele out on the wing. So let's give it a go. Dembele, Felipe Cantillo, Suarez, Messi, Sergio Busquets, William Carvalho, um, Titi, Godi, Nelson Smith, Jordi Alba. And once we're done with this game, we'll jump back into the transfer window. You guys 
guys have loads of stuff you want me to do here. The biggest one right now is Griezmann, but I don't know how I'm going to make Griezmann happen unless we sell a big player. All right, baby, here we go. Let's have some fun with this. There is one move that I really want to make, and I just seen it in the comments as well. So right when we're done with this game, we're going to jump into a move that I don't know if a lot of people would agree. See, some people didn't agree with my Godin move, but if you watch the episode, you understand the backstory to why I signed him. In, in FIFA terms, you know, he's old and this and that. You would say, you know, why'd you do that? But when you really think about it, Godin is the type of player that I just don't even know how he didn't make it to a Man U, a Man City and all that. Yeah, again, Aleti Madrid, a massive team competing for the Champions League every year. But I just can't believe one of the big giants like Bayern or Juventus or something didn't step in and snatch this man up. Big boy Suarez holding up the play. Goes back to Messi. I swing that one back to William Carvalho, our brand new CDM. Now Sergio Biscuits sends it all the way down to Nelson Smith. The passing is lovely. Biscuits right back into the boy Suarezimo. Now back to Biscuits. I look up and I try to go back to Suarezimo, but Sergio Biscuits! Sergio Biscuits! I mean Sergio Bis Biscuits! Finds the back of the net, the Spanish man rocking the number five. I told you I would possibly sell him if a good deal came in simply because, you know, he's a bit slow in FIFA terms. But he's a beast, man. He gets the finish right here. Absolute mistake by the, the, the PSG defense. Is Neymar playing? I see Cavani. I wonder if Neymar is starting. Do you guys see Neymar? But I can confirm that Neymar is on the field. I see him down there. Jordi Alba with a touch, but it is going to fall to my man Pastore. Pastore cuts back. Dani Alves, the Brazilian, sends it back to Pastore. Pastore can whip this one in towards Cavani. Pastore still with He finds Cavani, and Cavani equalizes at one. Big boy Cavani. Big finish. Massive finish. What a ball. Maybe I should have attacked him more with Jordi Alba, but I was kind of giving him a little bit of room, and that little bit of room turned into Cavani scoring a goal. The pass to Messi, and Messi finds Suarez, and Suarez finds Dembele, and Dembele, the Frenchman, finds the back of the net. Big boy Dembele rocking the number 11. Great finish for Dembele. Beautiful play. Suarez dropping it into him, and it's just an easy finish at that point. Well played, Dembele. Well played, Barca. Here comes Cavani. Go Dean covering Cavani. Cavani still with it. He sends it inside. William Carvalho almost got that interception. It falls back to Pastore. Pastore to Las Diada. Back to Pastore, and Nelson Smith right there to stop it. Good defense from my man Go Dean. Try to drop that one into Nelson Smith, who finally were able to push out. And it's big boy Messi. He drops it into my man Dembele. And Dembele swings a beautiful pass into Suarezimo. He's turning on the Jets. Suarez still with it. He's not the quickest. I have to slow down with it. I see Dembele. What a finish. The Frenchman Dembele with a mean run. An absolute beautiful run. And this is why you guys said Dembele should start, huh? That's exactly why you said put Dembele in that starting 11. Suarezimo finds the French machine. And Dembele finds the back of the net. Good find to Verratti. Verratti to Di Maria and Pastore makes it 3-2, but he's offside. That was a beautifully put together play by PSG, but offside for the boy, I think it was Pastore, right, who finished that one. And man, as I'm playing this game, I got so many thoughts of what I want to do to this team, and I'll show you exactly what I mean after this game. Good pass to Cavani! I was legitimately paying attention and trying to defend properly. And Cavani finds his second. Verratti cut inside. Godin gets burned right there. And what a finish from Cavani. The man is beasting on us, man. We should go and sign Cavani, man. He's an absolute beast. I steal that one with Felipe, and I drop it into Suarezimo. Suarez turning on the Jets. I look up, I see Messi. Messi steals it from Las Diada, and he shoots, and Messi! Big boy Messi. I hope him and Ronaldo have an insane World Cup. I hope they both go extremely far and just absolutely beast and feast. I know they're both getting older, so it would just be lovely to see both of them go really far in the World Cup. Big finish, sixth goal in the American Cup. Big boy Messi, the Messiah, puts the, 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 the cherry on top of a beautiful day. Nelson, clear that one. Well done. Big win right here. We're going to win our first trophy of the season. I know this one doesn't really count because it's preseason. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all over. The Barca fans that came to visit us, you know, this is big, man. This is when you're on, you know, you're on, you're on vacation. You're in a different country. They get to come watch you play preseason. It's big to these fans. We won it for them. We, we got the big trophy in preseason. A very equal game. We, they had the same amount of shots as us. They had more possession. We just took our chances uh, a little bit better. 
but it was an absolute even game. So I want to show you what I want to do with the squad, right? Because this is something we don't ever really do too much, but today I'm doing it. Today we're doing something just a little bit different. So pretty much what I want to do real quick is uh, adjust positions. So what I'm going to do is actually make William Kudavailu more of a CDM, right? Boom, William Kudavailu, CDM, bang, right there. Um, that's more of a CM. Is that on the CDM role? Oh, I guess I have to move him back a little bit more. We never do this, bros, but we're doing it now. Um, then what I want to do is move this right here, which is a cam. And then what I want to do here is also put this right there-ish. Um, let me move it. Can I move it in a little bit more? It's always a right cam. Doesn't really matter, but um, okay. So we have a right cam and a left cam. So pretty much what I want to do here. How much can I go up until it's all right? CDM, boom, right there. Can I go up even more? It seems he seems really far back. I guess right. No. Right there. Bang. CDM. Okay. So um, let me move him in. I want. I'm trying to make it look good. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look clean. You know what I'm saying? I want to make it look clean. I guess I could actually bring him in. Can I not get him to be more of a? All right, I guess not. All right, let's keep it. So pretty much what I'm trying to do here is Messi is going to play Cam. And Felipe Coutinho is going to play Cam. And Rakitic is going to the bench. Dembele there. So what you're noticing is I am about to go after a new left mid. And I just made a brand new formation. I don't know if this formation already exists. But we made a new formation. It has two cams, one CDM. William Carvalho and Sergio Busquets will both share this role. Messi and Felipe Coutinho will own the cam position. And then we need a brand new left mid. So before we go any further, Arsenal have showed interest in Rakitic. And this is interesting, right? Because I need money. We definitely need money. We need money. They offered 51 what the club is saying is anywhere from 43 to 63, right? So I'm going to sit down with Arsenal and try to get 63. I need this money if we want to get De Gea. Excuse me. Uh, if we want to pick up. Um, I'm going to try to get 60. If we want to pick up. What's his face? Uh, Griezmann. Also, there's another guy I really, really want. They say 55. Um, I'm going to try to get 58 out of them. I'm trying here, bros. I'm trying my best. What do they say? 58? Okay, I understand you're not willing. Rakitic is not easy. We are willing to get 58. Bang, Rakitic for 58 million. I tried my best to get 60. I didn't get 60. But bang, we sell Rakitic for 58 million. Rakitic wasn't really going to play. He's 29 years old. He's going over to Arsenal. So Arsenal now have Uzil and Rakitic. That's very, very, very interesting. Let's just be honest with each other. Uh, but with that being said, now I want to show you guys who I'm actually. So I have 73 million right now. I'm going to get that 58 for Rakitic, and we're not even done selling players. I'm going to use this 73 million because I want Leroy Sané. You understand? Uh, the player has re... Oh, no. Oh, no. No. No, don't say that. No, 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 no. Don't say that. No! Don't say that, man. Don't say that. I wanted Leroy Sané. I wanted Leroy Sané. My plans are over. Leroy Sané for left wing. Geds, you know Geds? Geds, the guy that's at Valencia. He's on loan from PSG, so we can't get him. That's BS. I'm trying to think. Um, we could play Dybala out there, but you guys know how that goes. They want 100 and something million for Dybala. Uh, he can only play Cam, a striker. But, yo, we could play him at Cam and then move Messi to left wing. That could work, but he costs too much damn money. I need a left wing. I think I got one. We're back at it again. We're raiding. We're raiding. We're raiding. We're raiding Liverpool, bros. We're raiding Liverpool, man. Look, his release clause is 64. It's my man, money. His release clause is 64. Um, I'm going to try to get him in the 50s, man. Let's get it, man. Let's do this. No, I want to... Um, Wait, can we not negotiate? The club isn't willing... Wait, the club isn't... The club isn't willing to sell the player, but... You, whoa, okay, the release clause, huh? Okay, all right, all right, okay, okay, all right. You don't want to sell him, Klopp. You don't want to sell him, Klopp. I see what you're saying, Klopp. Um, 64 million for Mane? I'm saying that's not a bad deal. I'm saying that's not a bad deal. Leroy Sané, I mean, Leroy Sané was going to cost me the same amount of money. I'm saying that's a pretty good damn deal right there. I'm saying, I'm saying let's pay that thing, bro. 
Hey, Liverpool, you're losing Mane, bro. We're coming in hot, bros. We are taking Mane, and there is nothing you can do about it. Yo, negotiate the deal, baby. Negotiate his wages, because he's coming to Barcelona. We're paying out here. We're buying him out, bros. We're buying out Mane. Yo, our team is about to be nasty. We are about to get Mane, bros. Rakitic offer, wait, 54 for Manchester United. Hold on, wait. They just, I got, will y'all give me 60, though? Hey, Manchester United, would you give me 60? Well, that's crazy. Would you give me 60? Would you have given me 60? Like, say, would you have given me 62 million for him? 58? That's what I got, Mourinho. You're not understanding. I got that already. Would you have given me 60? Or was 58 like max? What are you saying? Oh, you would have given me 60! No! I could have got two more million. Okay, it's only two million. It's only two million. Mane has accepted. His wages are a bit up there. But I ain't gonna lie to you, bruh. I ain't mad at that signing at all. Big boy Mane is now with the team. People said I was ruining Barcelona. Bro, I just made Barcelona sick. Like, that's... That's... That's bits, right? We just did bits, bros. Rakitic is going to be leaving. But look at this squad, bro. Hey, no, I need Sergio Busquets. He's going to play, bro. Hey, give me him. He's playing. Uh, look at his squad. We still got to sell Andre Gomes. Uh, William Carvalho is going to be a backup now in case Sergio, because uh, we might not sell Sergio Biscuits. But look at this. Mane Suarez, Dembele, Messi, Felipe, Coutinho? Like, that's nasty, bro. That's legitimately sexy as hell. Where can he play, right or left? It doesn't matter. That's just sexy. That's just sexy. Um, Titi, Goldeen, Nelson Smith, Jordi Albert, or Stegen? And if we want PK instead of Goldeen, we got that as well? Or if we want to go high overalls, we got that as well? Bro, that's sick. Paulinho off the bench as well. Rocket is going to be leaving. Andre Gomes is going to be leaving. Iniesta, I'm not sure what's going to happen yet. Suarez not going nowhere. Paco probably selling as well. And we got to buy some more, you know, some backup players. But look at this. And I actually like that formation. I like this formation we're going with. I think that's a sexy formation, bros. I'm going to stop right there in the comments down below. Let me know players you want me to sign, bring into the club. As you guys know, Rocket is going leaving. We're going to get 58 million in so we can buy more players. I'm not sure if Griezmann's going to be able to happen right now. But please give me people in the comments down below. You want me to sign it. Let me know. Do you think the Mane deal was a good deal? Because I personally think that's a great signing. I wanted Geds or Leroy Sané. We'll take Mane, though. It's not bad. It's been your boy Skills. I hope you enjoyed it. Big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys back here tomorrow for some more Barcelona career mode, baby. Booyah. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills, and we are making YouTube career mode history when it comes to me. I have never, ever, 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 ever done a Barcelona career mode. Never, bros. I've been doing career mode since, like, FIFA 11 on YouTube, and I have never done a Barcelona career mode. I've done Real Madrid. I've done Juventus. I've done Liverpool, Arsenal, Man United. I have never touched Barcelona simply because Barcelona has always been a powerhouse, and I know you're like, well, Real Madrid's a powerhouse too, but Real Madrid never really has the type of team that Barca has. I mean, before the Xavi, before this, there was the Xavi Iniesta days. Now 